It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? And could you be my neighbor? Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. So as you see, Moby Dick sitting over there. <sighs> Dylan pulls up this morning. I'm about to make a video on this cool LTD convertible. Dylan pulls up in his 2500 Suburban. We're sitting here chit-chatting. I said, Dylan, your fuel pump's making a lot of noise. He goes, yeah, it's always been kind of loud. I said, Dylan, no, that's, it's, I mean, it was sitting there. <coughs> Sound like the witch in the Bobby Bear song. Uh, sounded like the witch in the Bobby Bear song. I told him. He said, no, it's okay. Mm, about 15 seconds goes by. We're talking about a C10. This truck starts sh uh, stuttering and shaking and trembling. And he throws it up in the park. It shudders and stumbles and trembles and pops and cracks and carries on. He hits the gas pedal. It revs for a second. The fuel pump gets real damn quiet. The truck cuts off. I called it. Fuel pump died right here in the parking lot. Literally, I just told him that that thing sounded rough. And it died. Now, Dylan's truck has the 8.1 liter Fortec V8. The big block. Four-wheel drive. Eight lug axles in it. That's a hell of a truck. If you've never seen one, look them up. These things are absolutely sweet. And he's drove this thing five, six years. And he's put a transfer case in it. And as far as maintenance goes, that's been the biggest repair, I think, that he's put on it. So the fuel pump would be the next. But what this video is about today is not the 8.1 liter Suburban. But look at this beauty. This is a 1971 Ford LTD convertible. Look at this banana boat. God, is it not gorgeous. This is the original color scheme. If you watch my TikTok videos, I did a sneak peek teaser on this car a week or so ago, and it had different wheels on it. We just got these wheels to go on the car. They just got put on. It is beautiful. Now, this car is damn near perfect everywhere you look at it. There's no rust, there's no rot. The only place I've seen is in the trunk. You've got that right there just starting. That little bit of bubbling. There are no holes, it's just a little bit of bubbling has started. Just in the trunk. I mean, underneath the car is solid. Tell me the last time you've seen a 71 it was just this this perfect a 71 convertible at that convertibles leak they're usually destroyed and tell me folks have you seen this setup before do you see this this has bucket seats and a console. Let's sit down so you can take in the full. God, these seats are so comfy. Look at this. Look at this shifter. Look at that. Bucket seats and a console. I'm baffled. Baffled. North Carolina papers in there. Literally, I am baffled. Yeah. There we go. Ashtray. Glove box. Vent. This car does not have air. It just has heat does not have a temperature gauge or anything like that. It does have an optional FM AM radio and a clock, of course, headlights. 
washers. Is this thing not gorgeous? I think you got another ashtray. Yeah, driver's side ashtray, passenger side ashtray. Because everybody smoked in 1970. And it may crank up and run for a second, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the carburetor's a little finicky on it. Yeah, the carburetor's a little, little finicky, but it runs. And it's got bucket seats and a floor shift. I cannot get over this. Look this up. Try to find me another LTD. These things are as rare as hen's teeth to find a floor shift car. There's one other car I found listed for sale. And it's not a convertible. It's just a standard LTD coupe with bucket seats and a floor shift. And it's rough. When I mean rough, I mean it is in rough, rough shape. And they're asking like 11.5. Did you see how easy that door closed? Look. Look at this, look. Everything just lines up so well. Those body lines, everything. I cannot get over how good everything lines up. Everything's just perfect. It's gorgeous. Door lines, door hinges, trunk, everything lines up gorgeous. Come on. Underneath the hood of this monster is a 402 valve V8. Look at this bad boy. This is a big motor in here. Big old motor. I know that carb is leaking. It's very unhappy. So I don't want to run it long. And I've got it running off of a jug. He said it does run, but it runs off of the jug. It's got a old style purulator. Look at that filter on there which means the little old lady from Pasadena that owned it took very good care of this car and there's kind of a story that goes with it so the little old lady that actually did own this car used to take it to car shows throughout North Carolina maybe you guys have seen it there years ago if you do I would love to see some pictures or something you could send them to me on Instagram she had a bunch herself um, but seriously she was an older lady and enjoyed going to the car shows, but couldn't get anyone to go with her. No friends, nobody would accompany her to those car shows. And that's the only place this LTD went. She drove it to car shows. So she bought this giant pink teddy bear. And this giant pink teddy bear rode in the seat with her everywhere they went. So anytime she was at a car show, she wasn't there alone. She had her big pink bear. And the pink bear would ride with her everywhere she went. <laughs> and I thought that was absolutely adorable. And so literally in the stipulation of purchasing the car, the pink bear stays with the car. She insisted it go with the car and it stay with the car. So the pink bear is in the car. The pink bear will stay in the car. When we sell the car, the pink bear will go with the car and we expect you to keep the pink bear with the car. I mean, even if you decide not to keep the car and you sell it, the pink bear should go with it. I'm gonna get in here. We haven't washed it. We haven't vacuumed it, nothing. That dark spot's where the roof drips. Uh, so it needs to be vacuumed very well. It's been sitting up for a few years. The bear needs to be vacuumed. I'm gonna get him cleaned up. And uh, and yeah, and, and so the bear, I don't know if it has a name, but the bear stays with the LTD. And if you take it to car shows, take the bear with you. Um, that's, that's gonna appease her. It's gonna keep her happy. It's gonna keep us happy. Hopefully a story like that will keep you guys happy. In the trunk, we've got an immaculate pan. Uh, it's still carpeted. You have the white wall spare tire still in the back. 
um, with the, this is a bumper style jack. This is the bottom plate and there's the hook plate. And then you've got the bumper jack itself right there. And those are made to hook under the edge of the bumpers under these little lips, either on the back or the front, depending on where your flat was. And you crank it and it will lift the back of the car up. And it's a long one. It'll lift this thing way up so you can change the tire with ease. Got a Black & Decker car vac made in the USA. Look at that. Copyright 1991 Black & Decker. I'm holding an almost 30 year old shop vac. How cool is that? So yeah. I uh, I just, I, I can't get over it. It's just too cool. Way too cool. And the pink bear just, I almost feel sad in a way, but at the same time, it is what it is. So the pink bear stays with the LTD. And if anybody has car show pictures from Western North Carolina or the surrounding areas, if you look back through them over the last 10, 15 years, and you see a picture of a banana yellow LTD convertible with a little old lady and a big pink bear, send me them pictures on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or something, somewhere, somehow. Email them to me. My email is in the information on my YouTube channel because that would be absolutely awesome. That'd make my day. But anyway, we'll put these wheels on this car. And like I said, it does run, it does drive. It's running off a jug. I'm gonna clean the tank out. I don't know what's in the tank. I just ran it on a jug just to be safe. Um, the tank's probably okay. Like I said, the whole underside of this car is in a phenomenal condition. Floor pans everything i mean like i said keep in mind this is a 71 i mean a 1971 in this kind of condition make sure i got the keys pocket it's gorgeous 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 Does the radio work? Huh. Don't guess so. Oh, I pulled an eyeball. <laughs> That's okay. 47,916 miles are what's on the clock. And we have a title to back that up uh, showing that should be the original, original miles. Also the top works. You can hear it and it works very well. The hydraulic pump and everything is in good shape. Holds fluid, everything works. It's incredible. So that and the motor does run. It's gonna need to be tuned up and put on a new car, but rebuild that one. I can probably just rebuild that one. But is this not sweet? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. God, I can't get over that thing. Some of the carpet under the hood still even there.
it's gorgeous. It's just, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. <coughs> I don't, I'm at a loss. Let's see some headlights if they work. Oh man, all four. And the running lights. Oh, nope, one went out. That one's probably smoked. It's okay. Look at those tail lights. It goes all the way across the center. We got one bulb out in the middle. But that's no big deal. We can easily, easily fix that. And the headlight. I can round up a headlight bulb. Like I said, we put these uh these ultra wheels on here. They're a staggered set, as you can see the barrel. That one's just a single lip, this one's double. I think those wheels suit the car very well. But should you want to go back that route, we have a set of steel rims and the original LTD hubcaps that were on the car. These the car also comes with extra parts, like an extra nose cone. This is the trim that goes behind around the headlights and all that it's got an extra hood strip which is hard to find that's the piece that uh decorates the hood there's an extra grill all of that stuff is in good shape it's not broken bent up twisted nothing like that it's just spares someone along the way probably gave them to her just in case because like i said these are all in, in just phenomenal shape but it's there for some reason you did need it so, looks like I got more people stopping this morning to ask questions and it's so whatever. So I got work to do, I gotta get off here. But anyway, there you go folks, 1971 Ford LTD convertible with bucket seats and a console. I'm telling you, how stinking awesome is that thing? I'm going to jump off here before I get bombarded. Folks, we will catch you in the next one. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 1971. That was a good year.